So I've gotten a lot of questions here on YouTube. How do I fund my tennis career? Can I make a living doing this? And the truthful answer is straight up pro tennis, no. Just no chance. Expenses are pretty much a thousand euros a tournament and there are about two, three players every week that make that amount in prize money. And with a draw of 64 or 100 guys even, that match is just very tricky to add up every week unless you play very well or good tennis, which uh, obviously is the goal. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you a little glimpse into how most people on the future and challenger circuit fund their tennis career through club matches. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a pretty average weekend as a professional tennis player. It's last minute flights, lost in new cities, late nights, early morning, and of course, a lot of running on a tennis court. And then at about 5 p.m. we made sure to get about an hour of tennis in, feel the court, feel the conditions and everything. After that our captain is actually a big paddle nut so we ended up playing a little bit of paddle in the evening just kind of have some fun as a team and yeah I played paddle there for about 45 to an hour. After that, I was finally back to the hotel, get a quick shower, and then I was out to get some team dinner. Really nice place there in Tulum. There's some beautiful boats and an arbor there with, uh, yeah, there's really nice evening and, and nightlife there. We had to get up about 6 a.m. to get some breakfast. Uh, matches start at about 9 a.m. there. So really solid match from my end. I feel like I played very well. It's just, everything was working very well, especially I was serving well, which was a huge factor. And I feel like just serving well opens up so much for my game that I can really just approach it, come to the net, kind of break down the rhythm a lot and play fast, play slow, mix up my pace and just do everything very well which which actually worked out yeah very well this match i feel like especially i was doing a really good job when i came forward like my drop shot wall is just working pretty much picture perfect so really solid match through and through i managed to get the win there i think it was 6 -0, 6 1. So after the first round of singles, we ended up tying a one-all because uh, number four singles ended up losing their match. But on the second round of matches, we actually won both following matches. So we're up 3-1 after singles play. and then it was on to doubles. So me and my partner, Philip Berger, we played the number one doubles there. We actually played a really solid match again. Just everything was working very well. We made a lot of returns, came forward, were aggressive, kind of took charge and yeah, just serving well, both of us and, and managed to get the job done there. 
very quickly about I think it was 6161 But unfortunately for us, uh, the matches took a little longer than expected. We ended up missing the train back to Paris, so we had to wait for the next one. And of course, our captain kind of invites us to play some paddle. And we actually got challenged by our opponents from the tennis match. It was a lot of fun. We played some paddle with them there. We had a quick shower there and onto the train. But unfortunately, because we took this train, it was actually with the low connection in between. And it took a long time. But luckily for us, we actually ended up getting like first class tickets there because I think the train was sold out. Yeah, so uh, things are not going perfect way right now. Unfortunately, my hotel, there's no one in the reception. I've been there for like 20 minutes. Nobody's opening. And uh, yeah, my flight is in like five hours, so I can really use uh, a bed and a hotel room now. I'm not sure what the options are or what I'm supposed to figure out. Maybe I'll just go to the airport and just crash there, I guess. I don't know. So the guy in the reception just called me back. I've called him probably like 10 times. I finally texted me and asked me, are you Monsieur Simofon? <laughs> yeah, he called me and then apparently I a room. He just said that, yeah, just go to, to room 76. So we'll see if I get in or if I get kidnapped. Uh, it's like a 50-50, but it's only one way to find out. Ciao. Uh, I survived it, kind of. So how about three hours of shut eye and then uh, gonna make it to the airport. And off we go again. Like 5.50. Gonna jump on the in the Uber. Get to the airport at probably like 6 a.m. And then my flight's at 7. And uh, should be back home in Sweden at like 9.30, 9.45. Finally answer the question that probably has been on a lot of your minds throughout this video is how much do I actually make from this? And it's hard to give an exact number because it varies a lot for people obviously, but for me, the easiest way to explain it is pretty much that one club match will usually equal one week of tournaments for me. You usually try to schedule in club matches before a tournament starts or after a tournament finishes, and then you go to a club match to kind of help out with the flight expenses. Yeah, it really helps a lot when it comes to all the expenses because the expenses are really there, especially when it comes to flights and hotels and those kind of things. So club matches, it really is an invaluable thing. And most of all, it's a lot of fun. You know, if you get a great team, great teammates, it's a lot of fun, but it is very tough also with the traveling because it is usually a lot of in and outs. You kind of come in there for a day or two and then you have to go back for the next tournament. So it is a lot of traveling, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. And it is a lot of fun for sure. So after a about four hour drive from the airport in, in Stockholm, made it to Vernimo for the 25K event here in, uh, yeah, in Vernimo. So excited for that one. Just gonna have a little hit and then probably head to bed catch up on some sleep. It's gonna be a lot of really exciting matches and stuff coming up from that tournament. So make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff coming up. Thank you, see you next one.